Welcome to the Horror Tale Teaser. During this, I will only be voicing the characters. I will not be talking during it. On the ties, your wire belongs to Toby Fox. Place for the original X. Many years passed since a neutral run. The things have turned. Taken a turn for like the worst. Guide the human through the snow dead. Do not get killed. Plain and simple. Got it? Best of luck. One head dog coming up. Seriously, I told you not to get too close. Do not listen. Hey buddy, what's up? Boy, you look starved. Like any minute I'll find you. Passed away. <laughs> that was about a nice spicy hot dog to fill you up. Oh, come on, kid. It takes ever making a perfectly good hot dog for your charge. I put a lot of blood and sweat into this thing. Your funeral. You sure I can't offer you the hot dog? Ah, good. One hot dog coming up again. Seriously, I told you not to get too close. Seriously, are you just not ignoring me at this point, really? Don't do it again. No, no, this just didn't happen. You know how it is, time management and all, so try to do as I'm going. Just don't come back this way. How bizarre. This is the only exit. Turning back isn't an option. She tried to escape, but the vines locked the doors in place. You whisper gently through the door. The pounding continues. You say you must return home even if it kills you. The pounding continues. Then, strangely enough, you apologize. You say how sorry you are for leaving her. And for leaving everything she promised you. Knowing it's far from what awaits for you on the surface. Your heart grows heavy. The pounding stops. Finally, you thank her, despite what she tried to do. Despite how dangerous her love was. You feel like she's the only one who truly cares. The music stops. Child, if what you say is true, then let me do what is best for you. No, what am I? What am I doing? I am so sorry, this is not who I am, this is not who I... I and my friends have been trapped here for so long with so little that we've forgotten who we are. Yet your words, they remind me of another human who passed through here. Another human who found it in their hearts not to fight, nor flee, and now after everything I've done... Oh child... I know you cannot forgive me. I know what I have committed is unforgivable. But please, please do not forget me. 
Please tell me you will save my friends and myself from this wretched place. No one here deserves what has happened to our home. Please, promise me that you will save us. Promise me, will you not? Tonight. Yes, of course, it is foolish of me to ask such a thing. Thus, I must bring myself to bid you farewell. <laughs> well, then, you shouldn't have really done that. It's rude to play with someone's emotions, you know. Look in my eyes when you say so. Promise me I won't die here. Ah, oh, thank you, child. You are good to think well of me, despite what I have become. Oh, as this is a playable teaser, I am unprepared to offer aid for your journey. But perhaps another time I will be of more help. Now go quickly before I forget myself again. Trill disappears into the darkness. Your voice is too weak. A loud noise might work. Not that way, this way. Hey. Hey, there's the humanitarian. Yeah, my bro told me honestly I haven't seen him this happy in a long time. Not that I'd encourage what you did. You're, uh, pretty sick. But I guess you couldn't help it after all. You are what you eat, aren't you? Pops rain, have fun. I most certainly am waiting very patiently, may I add? Hurry, you mean you are almost there? Ah, 
if you weren't alive, do you not think he would arrive so quickly? My brother is like clearly right over there. I'm so sorry for him. I don't know what he was doing. Well, this is embarrassing. I am sorry to say there's all been one big, um, tease. I, uh, do not yet actually have any puzzles ready. Well, do you imagine you are busting with questions about what is going on down here? Um... Ah, uh, of course, why don't you ask Sans? He's a chief, I'm sure he would be ecstatic to put your mind at ease. What? No, she's fine. Oh, come now, bro, show her your sunny side. Go ahead, demon. Not that way, this way. Listen, Bucko, as always, I admire you trying to get yourself killed. But I don't have the heart to care for stupid questions, so scram. Sans, be nice! I want a human in high spirits before she meets her go! <laughs> uh... Tori, I haven't really checked up on her lately. I may have made the mistake of telling her how things are around here. She hasn't taken it very well. In fact, you could say, ruined her life. Hee <laughs> But hey, on the bright side, at least she isn't alone anymore. Yeah, I'm always hearing voices coming out through that door. It sounds kind of like yours, all panicky and shrill. It's none of my business, though. Okay, I like this. It's like this. My bro over there, he means well. He dreams big for both of us. But do you have any idea how much work it takes to make puzzles, make everything play in order, make sense, and look right? It takes forever. I mean, it makes no difference, lucky for us. We, uh, kind of have forgotten. But it's not just that. Last I hear, the puzzles aren't even his own. You get what I'm saying? He saw someone else's puzzles and liked them so much he's trying it for himself. Sure, they're a little different and kind of like the spin he's got going. But still, if it's not original, how does it work? It's not really worth it. Take it from me, kid, no matter how much you beg and whine. I'd say your time down here is limited. Ugh, Queen Undick. Now she is just plain rude. Guess you could say she's... I, she and I don't see eye to eye socket. Personally, I kind of want her dead, but then who'd be left to rule this paradise? Someone's got to do, and she's really enthusiastic about bringing upon human genocide, so... As for me, I can't give up on figuring what's right and wrong. Okay. I, uh... I don't know how to answer that question yet. I thought I figured she'd be dead, probably. But there is one thing. Sometimes when a human follows a puzzle, pieces of them just kind of disappear. Oh, you mean the one with the missing face? That was strange, wasn't it, Sans? Over here, I got this one. We were strolling through the woods, and to my delight, a human had failed a puzzle of mine. But when we inspected them, their face was missing as everything else above the shoulder. It was bizarre because as far as I'm aware, humans need those things for tense puzzles. He means we found him headless, and I can't figure what's a sick monster would run around chopping heads off. Hmm? What's with that look? Oh, I got a family waiting for ya. Nice parents, friends, that's cute. But I doubt it. You look pretty miserable for a well-loved baby human. I take you more for nobody notices me. I'm too poor for friends or well-fitting clothes can go. Too harsh? Well, that's nothing here. Things are kind of worse. Because we kind of trapped in this wrong city for eternity and we kind of starved to death and our ruler is kind of a bully. We're all basically stuck in a pretty bad place, so welcome to the party. See ya. You may ready to join me in one more thing. Nope. Human, are you ready to join me? Yay! So, you have your mind as well as your tummy filled with delicious content. So, now, without further ado, let the puzzles begin! <laughs> I honestly have no clue. Just wing it. That was it. Hope you guys enjoy the horror tale teaser. 
If you link below in the description to it, go check it out for yourselves and let us come and scare ya. <laughs> Maybe then I got a couple of more one head dogs done another way. Sans, be nice to the humans. Okay, okay. Thank you again, humans, for attempting to do this demo. Well, guys, that was all for the Horror Tale teaser. I do hope you enjoyed the link in the description. Go check it out, and I can't wait for Horror Tale's full game. Goodbye, guys. See you next time.